I purchased this telephone about two years ago and it came bundled with a wall charger but not a car charger. This seems kind of counterintuitive to me in that it's a mobile phone it ought to come with the most mobile of chargers that being a car charger. But I digress. I still made the purchase and shortly thereafter I went down to Walmart and I bought this aftermarket uh, phone charger. It has the correct plug. It's a micro USB and it seemed to work all right. It lasted about three months, four months before deciding that it didn't want to charge anymore. If you held it just right in the um, in the plug here and the stars were perfectly aligned and uh, the sun was shining on you that day you could sometimes get the phone to charge if you held your mouth just right but soon it wouldn't work at all and I think the problem is in this plug right here because when I plug this into the car it still lights up so I think there's still voltage going through this wire but it's not coming out the plug as it should. I know it's not the phone itself because my wall charger still works fine. I don't want to patronize Walmart again because they sold me a piece of junk charger so I've decided to try to fix it at home. I rummaged through my junk drawers and file cabinets and nooks and crannies and whatnot and I think I've found everything that I need to repair this charger. It's just a micro USB plug and if you're like me, you have a lot of USB cables laying around the house, and I found one that has the micro USB end, and it's only like a 15 inch cable, so it's not anything I'm going to use for the computer. So what I'm going to do is cut the cable with my wire cutters, you can use scissors if you don't have wire cutters, and re reconnect this end where this end is right now and hopefully that will make a workable car charger so I have all the necessary equipment to perform this project I have my phone not really a necessary piece of equipment but the catalyst for the project in any case I have my old phone charger I have my USB cable my wire cutter uh, black tape and chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. So we'll start by cutting the cord of the old charger. And off with your head. Now that the wire is cut, I'm going to strip back this outer insulation. And there's our two power wires. My spidey sense tells me that the red is the positive and the black is the negative. So I'll strip these. Hopefully. I've stripped these two wires, so now this portion of the preparation is complete. The next thing I'm going to do is cut the USB cable. And I'll do the same thing. I'll strip this insulation back. And there are more wires in here because this one is a data cable as well as a power cable. So we can pull back all this shielding. And that can be snipped off. And here are the wires we're concerned with, the red and the black. So we can fold these out of the way and strip these wires. The next step is to just put these together, black to black and red to red. You can twist them together and tape them or solder them. I think I'm going to go the extra mile today and solder them. 
Here we are on location in the workshop. I'm waiting for my soldering iron to heat up. I'll take this opportunity to switch my calendar to October. October. October will be a good month. So let's see if soldering iron is hot yet. Oh yeah, we're there. So I'll start by getting some solder on the wires. Next I'll just put the wires together. Perfect. And I'll make a note right now to myself that I'm unplugging the soldering iron. That way, hopefully, when I'm laying in bed tonight, I'm not going to wonder, did I unplug the soldering iron? I probably still will, though. Next, I'm going to use some of the electrical tape to tape these wires. There. Good as new. Now let's take it out to the car and see if it works. I'm out here in my car, in the dark, alone. My charger is plugged into the cigarette lighter, and the other end of the charger is plugged into my phone. However, there is no charging happening. I think I'll have to work overtime tonight, folks. I went inside and did some research on the internet and found out that some phone chargers need to have these two data wires shorted together. That way the phone knows that it's a charging only port rather than a data port. I'm not sure that this is going to work for my phone because I was not about to spend five minutes doing research so I'm just going to solder these two wires together maybe I can glean some inspiration from Miss October and we'll try it again now just a little bit of tape and I should be good to go back in the car now I've plugged the charger into the cigarette lighter. I haven't plugged the phone in yet though because I wanted us to spend this moment together. So now I'll plug this in and see what happens. Oh! It works! I don't know if you can see it but there's my little lightning bolt. I'm accepting donations for a new camera. Huh? It works. Take my word for it. It works. And that's how you fix a micro USB cell phone charger. Thanks for watching.
Yeah.